Hey guys, it's me, the American Summer, and God bless America. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. In the last part, we had just gotten done with... We had just gotten done with Ruben's memorial. Took the whole last part, but it's looking nice and snazzy. So we're going to go ahead and say that we're finished. There. Now that is a monument fit for Reuben. Yes. I know I never met Robin. Reuben. Oh, right. Robin. Right. Oh, by the way, Petra was looking for you before. Over that away. Thanks, Nell. Yeah, thanks, Nell. Oh, my timer. Aw, oh, come on. You remember Twisting Death Cavern? You couldn't even look at a bat for months, right? Oh, oh yes. Uh, they all just start to blur together after a while. Hey, guys, Petra around? Heard she was looking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, helping Nurm get some stuff, I think. She should be back in a second. Oh, uh, amazing work fighting that admin fellow, by the way. <laughs> just stunning. Yeah, I would have thought you'd been doing it your whole life. It was... artful. Oh, I can't take all the credit. You guys totally helped, too. Spare yeah. me the pity props, Jesse. Don't need them. Hey, it wasn't pity. I'm, I'm just saying I know I'm still getting used to fighting with only one eye. It's cool. I'm just glad my shop's all right. It's a little sad that the legendary Jack the, the Iron Sword of Muji Lake has been reduced to some uh, tour guide. Voss. That's why I think this adventure to Twisting Death Cavern is just what you need to be <coughs> sure. What you should continue to keep uh, just uh, talking about for someday uh, far off. Uh, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Love theoretical conversations. Wow, I thought Jack was a bad liar. But you're pretty terrible at it too, Voss. Uh, yes, okay, fine. We have a new adventure planned. Hang on, hang on. I missed that last part. If we take that road, it goes through a swamp and a mesa biome? Hmm. Okay, okay, then it's settled. The earlier we leave, the better. Wait, you're leaving with these guys? Uh, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah, that's why we were, um, being weird before and, uh, you know, talking about, Petra. Uh, you know, bus possible stuff. We haven't even rebuilt yet, Petra. Well, I didn't think you needed me for that. Jesse, I promise I, I can explain. I just... Whoa, wait, what? This isn't a snow biome. The admin. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> Just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. Well, it's kind of cuddly, right? Fighting a giant statue in the middle of town? Oh, okay, yeah, that was kind of cool. Ah, uh, see? I knew you'd know what I was talking about. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes! You're perfect for my creations. Perfect! Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. That's a diamond class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. You're insane. I know you have your plans or whatever, but leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> innocent or incentive? 
I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. Ahem. Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that clock. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Oh, it is. I mean, I don't want to brag, but it is, like, <laughs> really hard. Fine. We accept your challenge. I'm gonna get that clock, and then you're next. Ooh, that one gave me the shivers. You are legit, Jesse. Very excited. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why is Why? he doing this? Why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is gonna be epic. What? Oh, come on. Time to show this goon what the Skitaro Crag Jumpers do to town destroyers. You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, strays. Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember? Find the clock, save the town. Bye-bye now. Ah, we need to protect the people. Run, hide everyone. Protect the people. Feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. Now the situation is just going to get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? Oh man, proud of you, Radar. Really? Of course. Well, I... I won't let you down. All right, everyone, we've got a clock Good. to find. I don't need a let down. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise, I will come back. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Just protect the town while we're gone, all right? Mm -hmm. Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nerm. Hmm. We're all counting on you. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is.
I don't mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. If he knows what's good for him, he better keep his deal. We get the yeah, clock, he better. counts freed from eternal darkness. And hey, if he doesn't stick to the deal, we'll just need to find another punchier way to convince him. Indeed. Hey, Jesse. Uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, 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 me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. Mm. To, I don't know, find myself? You're gonna come back, right? Sure. Uh, of course. Yeah, that sounded so convincing. I, I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you... that you didn't need me anymore. Uh, hello. Just because we don't spend as much time together doesn't mean I'm still not your friend, dummy. See, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? I think we both know that you're the only one that can find the answer to that, Petra. Yeah, I know. Just wish existential crises came with maps, you know? Yes. A llama. Luna? Is that a scarf on that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? She's just a goofy llama. A little weird, but nice enough. Don't know if you've looked in the mirror lately, but I'd watch who you're calling Goofy. Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse, my rival. Should have known I would find you here. Yes, it is I. It's been some time since I've seen you, my... I've dreamt of challenging you again since our last confrontation. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella, the leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate.